Hello everyone, this is Boricua Binks and welcome back to Let's Play Remember Remember. In the last episode, I struggled so much playing the stupid minigame to save them from drowning because I just could not get all four of them alive at one time. It was like, ugh, the struggle. But luckily you guys didn't have to see all of that. I kept in a few, um, but for the most part I deleted a lot. I think I played it at least 12 or 13 times just to get the all of them safe and I saved Rosa at the last second, <laughs> literally. <laughs> but let's continue on right now. This is psychotic. What if that freak doesn't plan to let us go? I think we'd be dead by now if that were the case. We need to focus on remembering whatever truth he keeps talking about. The sooner we do so, the sooner we can leave. And the faster I can know who... Wait, why am I thinking like that? I can't let the kidnapper get to me. He keeps changing the story. First, he made it seem like everyone was involved. Now he's saying there are innocent people among us? Which is it? Or how many are innocent? If this truth doesn't drive me crazy, the kidnapper might. Huh. How are we going to get through this? How long is it going to take for the truth to come out? Stop. I need to sit down and think. Maybe if I think about the day Sarah was taken. As much as I don't want to, I may not have a choice. I have to figure this out. Maybe I can glean something from the memory. I'll just close my eyes and remember. Remember. <coughs> Sarah wasn't anywhere to be found. I ran up and down the block trying to find her. It was so dark, I could barely see past the streetlights. Every time I called her name, I would only hear it being echoed back at me in the air, or being followed by neighbors rushing out to inspect the noise. I didn't care. My mind was only on finding Sarah. Then I heard someone. Someone was running up to me and tried to help. Was it a neighbor? No. I remember feeling relief when I saw them. Was it one of my friends? Who was it? Who? <laughs> Ooh. Painful headache again. No matter how hard, I tr how hard I try, I can't get a clear image. If I push myself any more, my head will explode. Damn it. How am I supposed to do anything when I can't even remember that night? Fuck, and now my head is pounding. I need to sleep. Will I lose myself in this? Will I be able to figure this all out and save everyone? I keep asking myself this, and honestly, the answer keeps getting pushed further and further away from my grasp. The longer we stay here, the more unsure I become. Is it because we're slowly going to remember the truth? Is it because I will eventually will figure out who was lying to me? Was it one of my friends? Or was it the mask? I don't know. And I'm frightened. <sighs> I feel like shit. But I have a burning feeling that I'll feel like this for a while. At least while we're in this place. At least we have beds and food, as well as personal bathrooms. More things to make this place even creepier. Was this place built with us in mind? However, even in the privacy of the bathroom, I can't wake up. Not even the sink water splashing my face could jolt me out of this nightmare. All it would do is send water dripping down my face. It's strange. The more I keep looking into the mirror, the more I barely recognize who I see. Maybe it's the dark circles, or maybe it's the lingering will buried in my soul staring back at me. My will to survive. My will to keep pushing forward despite this psychotic game I've landed myself in. Slowly but surely, I'm becoming unrecognizable. How long will it take until I don't even look like myself, with only my eyes to remind myself that I am who I believe myself to be? another rush of water across my cheeks. I need to snap out of it and figure out what to do next. 
I have to meet up with everyone and try to force the memories of the past out. Not only will it keep me sane, but it will hasten this hell we're all stuck in. I see a lot of uh, little typos here and there. <laughs> I don't want to be desperate, but I think the pain we might cause from the medicine in our bodies in our bodies, will be worth the quick finish to this. Besides, I want to see the truth in the guilty party's eyes when they remember. So, how do we do this? Word association. So we just say words and stuff that may trigger a memory? Unless anyone wants to try something else, I can't think of anything else that would work. That should be enough. So, who wants to lead? How about you, Chris? You are kind of the leader at this point, so it's only fair if you lead this. Besides, you'd be in control of what we remember, so you can focus everything on finding that truth. Alright. That's true. I guess it's for the best. Well then, whenever you're ready. Okay, let's try... Girl. Mm. Mm. Nothing. Real? No. All I can think of is Rosa and me. Same. Well, what about little girl? Hmm. Nope. Did he have an accent there? I thought I heard a, like a southern twang. <laughs> That's cute. Nothing? Little girl. Sarah. It was worth a try. <gasps> Ooh, the name. Peter? Hey, what do you remember? Here we go. Progress? I remember meeting Sarah, I think. Describe her. Uh, pale, brown hair. Called you her knight, I think. That's her. <laughs> knight? Whoa, Rosa! I think I remember her too. Okay. Really? A boy and a girl playing knights and dragons. It was one of Sarah's favorite games. I was always both a dragon and a knight because she wanted to be the princess protecting her kingdom. When I started going to school, I couldn't play with her much, but when I came home, she was always there to greet me behind the fence and try to start a game every time. One day, I even brought my friends at the time home. Welcome home! Uh, huh? Huh? Who is this? Oh, this is my little sister, Sarah. Nice to meet you, Sarah. Um, uh, hello. Aww. Don't be shy, Sarah. These are my friends, Rosa and Peter. Ah, so he's closer to these two. Got it. Um, why are there toys everywhere? Oh, uh, we play pretend whenever I get home. It's not pretend, it's knights and dragons! <laughs> knights and dragons, huh? Can we play? Huh? You wanna play with us? Aw, that's so sweet. Yeah, it sounds like fun. You guys really wanna play with us? Why not? Might as well have some fun before we do our homework. Sarah was so happy to have more play pals. Mom was a little worried, but in the end, Rosa and Peter come once a week to play with Sarah. Still, I feel like I'm missing something. Yeah, same here. Hmm. I don't remember ever meeting her. Same. Maybe it was something that never came around. Which means the two in the middle are probably the innocent ones, and either Rosa or Peter is the bad one. Or both. Oh dear. And I like those two. Hmm. Oh! Am I interrupting something important? No, we just played. Come on, I don't want to go through that again. And he's here. Shit. That means another game is about to start. No. Fucking hell. This asshole and his timing. <laughs> My timing is impeccable, little insect. I always arrive when I need to. No. For another fucked up game, perhaps? Oh, come now. Don't tell me you don't enjoy these games just a little bit. No, not at all. Absolutely not. I like the overall game, but the little mini game? No, I don't. Why on earth would we enjoy getting tortured like this? Rosa, I'm surprised at you. 
Have you not done any study of psychology in your medical courses? The science of sadomasochism and how it burrows into the human brain, waiting to be released upon stimulation. Oh my lord. We're not masochistic. You're just fucked up. Indeed. <laughs> well, more fun for me then. There is nothing fun about this. Absolutely nothing. So, shall we begin? Please, take your places. No. <laughs> Why can't there be more to this game? I don't I don't like it. It was too much. We're going to get out of here. Uh, I'm gonna save. I can't. <laughs> I'm so sad. I'm just sad right now. I don't. I don't like it. I don't like it. Me no like ye. I don't believe you know that for certain. He's right. We'll slowly remember and get out of this hellhole. Lisa and Xavier, such brave souls. I find it interesting that you both are still so confident that you'll make it out, despite the odds against you. Hmm. Then you're stupider than you act. <laughs> oh. Enlighten me. Why should we give up when we know there's a chance to leave? If we trust Chris to save us and help us get out, then I see nothing wrong with being confident. Very fair. But allow me to be the realistic one among us. Your fate is in Chris's hands. Chris can very easily let you all drown. Shut the hell up! Like he ever would do that. Like I would do that. But it's true, is it not? Why, you could start the game and quite literally step away from the console, letting the time run out. Oh jeez, I, I bet you that's an ending. <laughs> I bet you that's an ending where he just lets all of them die. I, I'm actually really curious, but I'm not going to do that right now. <laughs> Like I would do that. You would consider saving the accomplices of your sister's kidnapping? Accomplices? Hmm. You still haven't shown any proof that any of them were involved. I am seriously tired of this guy trying to convince me otherwise. Enough of the games. I want to learn the truth and leave. I don't want to believe that my friends were involved. I don't want to judge them. And there is no proof that any of them were involved. Why am I letting this asshole get to me? You have shown nothing to me to prove that any of them were involved with Sarah's disappearance. I don't have to believe a damn word you say. You're just making us play this stupid game because it's funny, aren't you? That's right. You have nothing. Chris. You really believe us? That's why I trust you. That's why all of us trust you. If that is what you want to believe, then so be it. Huh? I can't force you to believe me, but the time isn't right for me to prove anything to you. Fuck you. <laughs> nice. Be as hostile as you want, Chris. I still have you all trapped in my little bunker, and the only way I will allow you all to leave is when you play my game and learn the truth. I won't just hand you your freedom. You have to work for it. Or, I will decide your fates for you. He's right. No matter how much we fight, we're still trapped in here. I have to play his cruel game, even if his truth is a lie. Will he ever let us go then? Now you understand who was in power here. You lost the power to control your fate when you allowed Sarah out of your sight that night. He's so vengeful. How did this guy know? How? How did I know that? Simple. I know everything that happened that night. I have evidence and records of every step Sarah made. And who left her to be taken by birds. This is so weird. Like, what is your deal, sir? I'm so curious. Again, with the bird metaphors. Now, you will play my little game and discover the truth without my proof. That is your punishment for letting Sarah be taken. Do you understand? Ugh. This guy is acting like he's her sibling, not me. I will take that as a yes. Chris. Rosa, leave it alone. 
Chris needs to focus. Yeah. You got it, Chris. Don't let this freak get to you. And there you all go again. So supportive and confident. It's like a huge circle, a battle of truth and lie. I know the truth. And none of you will speak of it. We would if we remembered. <sighs> this guy, he's, he's really pissing me off. <laughs> but you didn't, did you? The ones involved let the truth be hidden for years. And now you are all trapped here because of your cowardice. How could this guy lie so easily? Yet how could this guy sound like he's telling the truth? Is he really someone I should listen to? Or is he just playing a fricked up game for his own enjoyment? I don't want to believe him, but none of his actions prove that he's doing this just for fun. He could have killed us by now, yet he hasn't. I don't know what to believe anymore. Now, we've talked for long enough. Let's start the game. Actually, let me save closer. I keep saving, because I'm like, I want to be close enough to the game itself. Because I know I'm going to have to replay it over and over and over again. <sighs> A struggle. Y'all don't know. <laughs> don't you have something to tell us? Huh? Oh, that's right! The next part of the story! Oh yeah, that's right. I forgot. <laughs> the butterfly then met a horrible bee. The bee was doing terrible business with wasps. But when the butterfly approached, it stopped to chat. The butterfly told the bee that what it was doing was wrong. So the horrible bee shooed the butterfly away, scaring it back into the darkness of the night. Well, that's interesting. Horrible bee, huh? So the game will have bees or something? Maybe the monster is a bee. The glass tubes are set and the game is waiting for me. Sarah, I'm sorry for not being there. Okay, I'll save here because it looks closer. <sighs> Alright, here comes the pain. I will learn the truth soon. Oh, they're all in corners of... Ah, shoot! This has more time now. Oh, crap. There's so many obstacles. What the? Yes! The water came through the shop! What the hell? Thank you! Oh, dear. Well, this is not going to be easy now, is it? Um... Sir, someone help me. Oh my God, no more water. Thank you, Chris. I don't like it. I don't like it. I don't like it. Oh, the water stopped. Thanks, Chris. Oh, I can't get through. Okay, I just need one more. Move, dude. He takes so long. Oh, shoot. I get it now. Oh no. This is hard. I didn't know. Okay, she's up here. Okay. I need to load. I get it now. Oh, that sucks. It blocks the path that you go through. Oh, that's rough. So you gotta limit your movements. Okay. Okay. I got it. Okay. This one is tricky. Just limit your movements. Stopped. Thanks, Chris. <gasps> oh, come on. Frick. Move. Jesus Christ, the water stop. Thanks. Ah. Oh. <laughs> Jesus. He's so annoying. He takes up so much time. Uh, I can't. I don't know. How am I supposed to avoid him? I'll, uh. I don't know. Oh God, yes. No more water. Thank you, Chris. I can't. I'm stuck. Oh, my lord. How am I supposed to get to you? There's just no way. 
I I don't think I can get to you. Oh. Oh, this is rough. This is rough, homie. I have to avoid bumping into the wasp, but that's like the hardest part. Oh. The water stopped. Thanks, Chris. Oh, come on, keyboard. Why don't you respond when I want you to? It's really pissing me off. Oh my lord. I cannot see. Shoot. This is bad. We're about to lose it. No more water. Thank you, Chris. No. 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 So depending on who I get, okay, I think I have to leave Peter for last. Okay, so the different colored blockage that comes up. Let's go for, oh, come on, let's go for you. Yes! The water seems to have stopped! Thank you! No! I heard the water. My keyboard. It's not responding like I want it to at all. Oh no, come on! How am I supposed to avoid that? So freaking annoying. Oh, Jesus see? Christ, the water stopped. Thanks. Okay. I'll be there in a minute. Oh. The water stopped! Thanks, world. Chris. Am I supposed to get to you? How am I supposed to get to her? Where am I? Oh my god. I don't think I can get to her. Shoot, I can't. I can't. I don't think there's any way for me to get to her right now. No, everything is blocked. Okay. <sighs> you know, what time am I at? I'm gonna leave this for the next episode. Okay, so you guys saw the struggle that I'm going through. It takes learning. You have to specifically choose who you go for first. Um, I think I'm gonna have to leave Peter for last. So, thank you guys so much for watching. Um, I'm finding this game really interesting but frustrating at the same time. I hope you're enjoying it though. And until next time, have a nice day. Bye!